topic of the day. So, once again, hello everyone. Myself, Om Prakash, uh, as you know already, uh, I am fortunate enough to be in Salesforce ecosystem from last uh, six years and blessed to be a Salesforce MVP uh, this year in uh, class 2020. I'm also a Salesforce Lighting Champion and currently working as a product head in 360 degree cloud. So you can connect with me on uh, various social media. Here is my Trailblazer uh, profile. And uh, moving ahead, I would like to thank you Sanket for this initiative and having me today in this session. So Sunday with the LWC, someone who joined first time today, it's the Sunday with LWC every Sunday, since we are organizing a virtual uh, meeting and uh, inviting uh, various speakers to share some of topic related to Lightning Web Components. So he's uh, also a Lightning Champion. So thank you Sanket for having me awesome. once again. Let's do this trailblazing things together. And that's our Rohana, that everyone is willing to share something and learn together. So yes, today our topic is uh, local development. And uh, you know, developer always wants to build something locally and they can check their changes quickly. They can debug data locally and suppose if any error happened, then they can track the error on locally. So keeping the same in mind, Salesforce has released a local development server recently. So currently it is in uh, beta, uh, but still we can uh, develop our LWC and locally we can build and run. And once everything good, then we can deploy it to the our Salesforce all productions. So moving ahead, just a lightning wave component. For develop the lightning wave component locally, we need a local development server, which is a Salesforce CLI plugin. So this plugin helps us to configure and run the Lightning Web component in our server on our local machine. We can develop the Lightning Web component locally, and we can also test it in our browser itself without deploying to the server. Suppose uh, if any error, maybe uh, some dependency error and any error in our code, then we can track those error on our page itself with details like if we, we, uh, which files in which uh, line error is happening. And uh, Lightning Wave components uh, supports only. Currently, uh, we can't go with the Aura component. Suppose if we have Aura component, then a local uh, Lightning Wave component uh, is only supported locally. And one more thing uh, we need to keep in mind, it is not offline, means we need to be online because uh, it's rendering your data from Salesforce itself, means we can uh, update our Salesforce uh, data, we can fetch our data in real time. So it is not offline, we need to be online for aging this. How to set up? Yes, we need to install a local development server. Then if you're already familiar with the uh, LWC development, uh, then you have already authorized uh, DevHub org CS. Here we need to enable and authorize uh, DevHub org. Then we can uh, we'll create a scratch org and then we'll build a Salesforce DX project. So yes, only Salesforce DX project is supported for local development. System requirement is yes, as usual, we need a Salesforce CLI, we need, uh, need a developer hub enabled org, as you discussed, and uh, recent browser of Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and Safari is supported. OS is just ports, that's all OS almost. Windows, it is tested on the Windows 7 and up. Mac OS 10.11 or later, and Linux Ubuntu 14 point or up. So if you have any operating system from these, you can go ahead and how we can install so as we you know Salesforce uh, it is part of Salesforce CLI plugin so you can run this command on your command line interface then local development server will be, will be installed and uh, then after the installation you can check the update if you have any updates then automatically it will uh, update it so you can run this command So 
So uh, as Jay mentioned, we need a uh, Salesforce DX project. So we can create Salesforce DX project in various way. Maybe from the our VS Code, you know, simply control shift P. Then we have option to create a project. So you can create the project by using this option, or you can also create the by uh, this command from the command line. Name of project in my project name, and uh, if you have any project, then you can also clone. So in today demo, I'm going to use the DreamHouse uh, project, which is uh, live on this URL, uh, hosted on this URL, their source code is here. So we can clone by this command. And uh, now for uh, using and uh, continue our development, we need to change our directory to the project directory. So you can see we have used CD project name now just uh, how to enable the dev hub in an org so go on the setup then dev hub and you can enable from here so that we can create and manage sketch orgs and uh, you all you might already aware that once you will enable then we don't have option to disable the sketch uh, dev hub after the enabling, we need to authorize uh, the dev hub again here in our VS code. We have authorized uh, dev hub options. So by using this command, you can go ahead and authorize your dev hub. Then we can create a default sketch or where we will push our changes our, after the development. And uh, Previously, we have uh, just installed, then it's time to start the server so that we can give our changes locally. So from the command line, you can use this command. Then server will be automatically started. And once server is started, then you can view it in browser on this port for time three. Locally, your application will be run there. Uh, actually, yes. Yeah. yes, yes, Sage. Uh, so the server installation part basically, what are the steps for that uh, local server installation part? First, you have shown some as uh, command to install that server. So that command where we have to run, and after that, where we have to start this server. Yeah, great. So in the, our terminal command line, we have this SFDX. Uh, this is for a start, but if you need to install, then uh, one second. So basically, we'll run this command from here to installing uh, and uh, starting the server itself. So let me type. So since I, I, I have already installed, so I'm not going to run the command, but you can run this command. Let's run SFDS plugin install Salesforce LW Studio Server on here. Okay. And once the plugin will install, then you can run, uh, you can start the server from here. Okay. okay and uh, uh, since uh, now start or stop options these uh, options are also part of uh, in the vs code you install the salesforce extension pack so these are also the part of salesforce extension pack so you can simply control shift p you can also start from here start local open server open local open server so there is a minor difference between start and open here so what is happening uh, when you are going to start your local open server then it will start and it is also using the same command which we used uh, previously the same command it, it will use and let me check control shift p and start local open server So now if I check the details, uh, once again, let me clear the previous one. Okay, 
So I'm going to start. So here you can see this same command. SFD exports lightning LWC start. So currently it's also using the same command, but since uh, these are the part of Salesforce uh, extension pack, so we can use this command. So now I have already started here. So again, if I will click start local reference server, then it will ask me option. Either you need to restart or open. What I did, I have started it already, and then I'm already, again, I'm going to restart, then it will ask me option to restart or, okay. Now suppose if, let me stop, stop local open, and then go on the command, and I am going to start my server from here. Okay, yeah. So since I am currently outside of my project, so this command required to run from project. So let me go to the, my project. I guess my project is here. So Siri. Sorry, it's CD, not CS. So, yes. And now another project. Okay, so now I, am, uh, now I am in the project directory and let me start the server. Okay, so now you can see server is up here. Okay, now since server is already started from our CLI and when here you will going to again start the server, then it will not ask you option to restart or open browser. It will throw an error and, and something key. Okay, this port is already in used. Let me check. Yes, address already in use. So this is a very basic difference. So let me cancel and let me close from here. Okay. Now, when we'll use the command controls uh, open local development server then it will again start the server it will start the server and it will automatically open the browser very similar thing but what is the difference here let me open again it will not ask something to restart or uh, open browser automatically open the browser so open local our server is running we are using this command open local open server, then it is automatically automatically opening. So the same thing I uh, on the slide here. Oh, one second. Yeah, same thing. Okay, no. So uh, while giving this demo uh, in the VS Code, is screen visible or not? Sorry. Yes, yes, it is visible. Okay, visible, na? Okay, then then get it. I thought I spoken everything blank. So yeah, please feel free to text me. <laughs> okay, so. While I was covering these things, uh, I was running this command open local open server, then it's pretty much visible, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. we can yes. able to. Yeah, yeah, great. Sure. Great. 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 Then let me come back on this slide. So, am I talking the same thing? I start local development server. Any question in the start local development server or uh, open local server? Do you know a stop will stop? Very minor difference between local and uh, a start uh, sorry open and a start so if any question please ask before we move ahead okay so no question means i think we are, we are good or uh, anything any minor if you think minor question i say uh, someone is very new uh, joined today like i guess uh, we just rent as well and maybe which first time using it to see feel free to ask okay so now okay so uh, I have created, I will come back with a demo again, so nobody. So we have uh, our local file here, like I have created a local component. Okay. Where is my project? 
this one hello world how can you preview this so here you can see option sfdx preview component locally so you can view from here and another option like suppose if you are in and the file is open then right click here and again here if you component locally so same thing on the slide we have two options from the file itself and now let's uh, go for a quick demo instead of topic talking talking so for this demo i am using a popular app called the dream house app so uh yeah i have opened sample gallery you know tell her sample gallery there is so many apps so that we can check the code and we can learn from here so dream house the lighting web component version i am going to open this and uh, you can see uh the source code here the installation url so how can you install the dream house uh, org yes, scratch org so i have already did this step so simply as we talked you need to enable the dev hub org so i am also going to text you in the chat window if you are going to do a quick setup after our session so these steps and uh, if you are not familiar with the step then this trail head module will be very helpful for config configuring of everything and now cloning the repository i have already cloned this i have also created a patch org so simply this is simple step by step so after clicking uh, uh, like uh, creating a patch or you can push your current changes which uh, which files which we have cloned by this repository so i have already imported the sample data so let me open the sketch org so for the opening sketch org open default org so my org is uh, my sketch org is opened Let me switch to the Dreamhouse app. Okay. So the same source code is here in my BS code. Now, first thing we need to start our server, right? Let me stop if I have it. Okay. So what we did, we have just uh, cloned our application and here is our source code. And now let me open, start the local development server. So when this uh, look, the uh, URL will be open, then you can see all of your component which is stored in your local file system are available here. You can click and you can preview the changes locally from here itself. You can click on view in a VS code, then this component will be open in our VS code and go back and simply go on the home page of this local development server now the same thing we discussed earlier you can preview the your changes from here itself so your component will be visible in browser now let me create a new component so create uh, that in the component give a name
give a desired directory a by default. Okay. Let me add something. Now, see. What I did simply in our newly created uh, component, I have called another component that's called hello world one, two, three. Okay, now when I go here, you can see our LWC Sunday component is available here. You notice I have not refreshed my uh, browser itself. It's automatically rendered well, when I save this file, then my local uh, server was automatically refreshed. And here is our LWC Sunday. Let me click on this. Wow. So you can see the details here on this screen itself. Let's click here and you can see what happened. Cannot reach all because I have not built any component, namely hello world one, two, three. Right? So by using this error log you can track what is happening wrong so okay i found key hello world one two three is not available then come back and let me check okay either you can create a new component or let me remove this one two three because i already have hello world component here right hello world so now i save this and go back to the browser you can see page was automatically refreshed and yes here is our component means what is the that we can track the error locally and once you fix your error then your changes is automatically refreshed and you can check the output from here okay now when the sales course and here is uh, some let me check okay so property explorer let me edit this and here you can see property tile list okay see our lightning babe component property tile list come in the explorer and let me check where is our component here property tile list right so let me open this source code and i'm going to preview this what happened yeah okay nice so what happened uh when i previewed this file then you can see these data is coming from salesforce so let me go on the property let me change the city name what i did i have changed the data in our suppose org come here this time we need to refresh right because we are not doing change locally now i show uh here you can see city delhi means data we are in the local server, but data is coming directly from our Salesforce org with the help of Lightning Data Services. Means we are running locally, but data is coming from there. We can also do uh, update from here. Let me, if I have functionality that edit this property, then when we will change something here, it will go and update in your Salesforce org. Now uh, I have one another component here uh, property summary let me check this one okay so let me preview this one go back and here is our property summary
select a property to say details. See, that come on the page. Select a property to see the details. You can see, select the property to see details. Same means on the in Salesforce app, when I click on this, then ID will be going and I can see this. So now I need to check this locally. Then let me open the code. Property summary. Here is a property ID, right? So in Salesforce, property ID is going to assign. Then you can see the property image here. So how to test this? So for now, we need to put a property ID here for testing purpose. Means go in the uh, Salesforce, copy any property ID from the URL and let me put here, okay? But before that, I want to show something again. Okay, so this is wrong property ID, right? So I have assigned the property ID locally. No worry, uh, very soon uh, it, there will be option so that we can put the ID from our uh, local server itself. We will have an option. Currently we need to go in the file itself because it's in a beta. So, you know, uh, lots of thing is coming for us. Now, okay, so you can see, Previously, uh, massive was something else. This time, error retrieving data. Of course, we have uh, wrong property ID, so it will not come. Let me inspect this element. And in the console, you can see the details here. It's just 400 bad request. Now, why? Because record ID was wrong here. Let me correct this record ID for testing purpose. And now I'm not going to refresh anything. Come here and you can see the property image should be here. In here. Okay. Means we can check our data real time we can preview anything everything in the real time itself any question then please ask or then we'll go ahead hey um abhik this side i just wanted to understand how it understood the um, salesforce id uh, is it connected with our salesforce or the local server I, yes very nice question basically I uh, what happened? Uh, I have uh, given a uh, overview that we are going to connect. Uh, we are going to install this Dreamhouse project. Like so, when I installed this Dreamhouse project during this step, we have authorized our org. If you remember, I have talked earlier authorize a dev hub so we have authorized a dev hub means the dev hub was connected then after the authorization i have created a scratch org then a scratch org was created from here and we have deployed this project in this scratch org that's why you can see i what i click control shift p open default org so from the VS code, my default scratch org is opening, means yes, we're 100% correct that our org is connected. And we can check, since I have not covered this uh, here, because you know our uh, main topic is local development, but still, uh, let me stop this server. Stop local development server. And now I'm going to start start local open server and once again yes so now 
come back here and go up. And here it is. This is my devhub org and this is our scratch org. So when I started the server, here is your command, letting LODC start, then this scratch org like local server is running for this scratch org. And how it happened? If I come back on the slide, then let me go back here. After the enabling dev hub, we have option to authorize our dev hub, then we can create default sketch org. And after that, we started our server. Means after creating a sketch org, we started our server, right? So default configuration wait, but we have all, we can also customize like uh, when, uh, you know, which sketch org will be connected. But here, this is sketch org means let me come back to salesforce org and go to user and you can see this user name question clear or what do you ask yeah and one more thing uh, thanks for that yeah. wanted to understand uh, does it also listens to the apex uh, things apex returns and everything yes you're right here uh, it's connect uh, local local server is working uh, uh, giving us data locally with the help of apex and i think data service is both okay so okay okay got it yeah Thank you very much. Any question you have, please let's discuss. Okay, so now uh, come back. Uh, okay, so now uh, what we need to do, we have uh, this steps like we need to do uh, prior to our demo, then you can download the sample app yeah with help of this only and then you can quickly view the changes you can create our new lighting web component and everything is here locally so again the common goal is like build anything locally test here and uh, yes if you found any issue any enhancement you can give the feedback i have i think i have mentioned that in the next slide so you can submit the feedback to uh, the Salesforce product team and they will check if they can add in the next release. That's why it's in beta, so it's up to us. Now, yeah, that's all from my side today. We'll discuss some of the questions, if any, and uh, I suggest please go ahead and find out your nearest trail with your groups.com and there is a lot of other meetups happening. But currently we are only connecting virtually this due to current situation. But very soon, when these things will be better, everyone, then in person meetup, you can meet, you can find out your nearest community group, and let's succeed together. These are the summary sources you can uh, check out. I have taken reference from here. And yeah, this link, you can submit any issue or enhancement request on this website. So you can take a screenshot, or maybe I think recording will be shared by Sanket. And I use this sample gallery. For a quick demo, any issue? Uh, sorry, no issue. Any question? Let's discuss. Okay, so no worry. Uh, you can text me any every time, uh, anytime if any question. And now, so my uh, I have one quick quiz. So let's play a quick uh, quiz for just a fun goal is only just fun engagement and uh, three winner will be get something surprise one uh, first uh, prize is uh, one of the trail head water bottle uh, from the trail head store and two of the gift voucher or uh, coffee mug 
So let me, I think, uh, really my Twitch. What you need to do, just uh, use your monitor for view purpose and please uh, open this cohort in your mobile or maybe vice versa. So you need to join by this cohort.it. Please open this. Let's play. So just you need to open uh, kahoot.it in your mobile phone and then this is your pin number. So if anyone interested, please just join. Just fun, nothing else. Okay, I can see one name on the screen. Guys, don't worry. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, five player here. So let me start. And wow. <laughs> okay, just fun part. I love this fun, you know. So insert on your screen. Uh, just you need to choose any one option. Yeah. So on your phone screen, you can say red symbol, green symbol. So if answer is red, then you need to play, press the red symbol. I can see one answer here. Yeah, quickly guys. Uh, time out, quickly. Two answer, please. Uh, okay, okay, good. So what happened here, start local reference server. Yes, so a question mark. If you already started the server from VS Code, then VS Code give the option to open it in the browser or restart it. So yes, uh, we need to choose a start local reference server. Next, so yeah, two people have given correct answer. Nobody, first question, uh, in the first question, there is an issue like uh, if you are playing first time then, uh, it might be uh, how to play, but next question should be better. Go ahead. Uh, Wow, on the top, Amit and Avik. Okay, no worry. This score can change. Just up quickly answer the app. Please uh, give an answer quickly. Pin, okay, okay. Pin is here. Uh, again, that's a good question. 523017. Yeah, you can join again if you've not joined it. Pin is 523017. Next, I hope you joined. So second question, look, very basic question, you know, not something for knowledge testing, it's fun testing. Local development server run on, ha, careful. Aha, why? See, it was, <laughs> it was the most confusing question, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Four times three, na? Yeah, that's why, you know, I was just, uh, why are you putting this up somewhere? I was just thinking, yeah, this is confusing. <laughs> but no worry. So, as a test, this is fun test, not knowledge test. No worry for this. So, yeah, option is our uh, trip uh, four times three. So, next, again, the score is same, you know, because there is no much. But I was expecting from the we or now and not see so that you can move on next. Okay, next question, please. This is a good question, very confusing. Minor is small. Sorry, what happened? I did, did anything wrong or what happened? Yeah, you, you answered. Sorry, I clicked something. Uh, okay, no worry. <laughs> so no one has covered this. No so let's go for next one. Okay, so answer why? Salesforce. Uh, install uh, the red Salesforce allowed to see. Yes, server. So nobody guys, no one has clicked. Maybe next. Again, <laughs> same. Okay, so here is a chance. Click, click quickly and you will be on the top. 
check for updates to the local open server 25 second we have 4 answer coming very nice awesome everyone has given answer so yes uh, where is the confusion okay check update plugin something something yeah so this one is last one is correct answer let's see the score this time okay still amid leading the show now raj and then abhi and okay great so last question but no worry last question you can click quickly and you can jump on the top okay so next no worry that's fun game <laughs> you can develop lightning web component and see live things without publishing sahi hai ki galat hai bas ha very nice so yeah now we'll see the luck and the combination of luck and knowledge uh -huh, 365 abhi the third winner great raj second one and i guess the same name which was on the top yeah so good i mean <laughs> and good one congratulations everyone and runner was uh, two name okay so you can take the screen shots and let's spread the word about the like lwc sunday right okay so congratulations uh, i will see how uh, sick this once uh, this lockdown period will be ended so thank you for having me today once again and if any question let's discuss anything not only uh, this uh, today's topic but anything is you can discuss now we have i think 10 15 minutes so let's talk any generic term motivation term because current time period required